Well, good morning again. I'm back to talk to you for a few minutes uh, regarding a prophetic word that I forgot all about, but I was reminded that back in February of this year, I delivered a word regarding there's a rumble in the camp. And uh, as I say, I forgot all about it, but I have a written copy of it here. So I'm just going to share a little bit further on that word. I, I remember uh, um, that night I didn't deliver it from my seat. It was a Holy Spirit night and I actually went to the front and I don't know, I guess it has maybe a little bit more impact when it's that way. And apparently God figured it should be given more impact. So that's what I did that night. And uh, just before I delivered that word, my call gave a word and it said, be prepared, or sorry, he said, be prepared. And it was a very simple word, but uh, as we see how our, how our uh, culture or whatever has gone lately, being prepared is a good idea. So I'm going to read a couple par portions of this and then share a little bit on it. So it starts out, there's a rumble in the camp, there's a rumble in the camp. You seem to be kind of comfortable, and I do believe you need a little rumble to get you moving. Because it's too comfortable, when the ground starts shaking under your feet, you're not that comfortable anymore. And uh, that's, that's part of it. I went on to say that uh, when, when we are comfortable, we tend to leave things as they are. When things start changing, especially if things are going well, we don't really, us people, we want to leave it because it's going well. Well, in the last couple of months, things aren't going that well in our society. And uh, that has caused us to do a lot of things differently. And uh, some, <laughs> some we like, some we don't like. But uh, I equated that, or I, I drew the parallel of in the early church, when Jesus left the planet, he said, Now, boys and girls, I want you to go and share the gospel to the ends of the earth. And they just didn't do it. They stayed in their comfort zone in their city. But when the persecution started, Stephen was stoned and other people got beat up and everything, that's when they went and they left because they weren't comfortable anymore. Um, so it took that rumbling under their feet to get them moving. Now again, that night I said, God does not want to use crisis to get us moving. But crisis, if it comes, tends to get us moving. So I think we, we've seen this now. And I just want to leave you with this thought that what, what kind of uh, adjustments have I made because of this rumble that's gone on? Am I, get, am I drawn into God? Am I doing more what he said? Or am I finding myself worried about the economy and sickness and politics and all that stuff? So, this being an encouragement service, I want to encourage you <laughs> to go the first route. Tie into God a little bit more. Make that a, more of a priority, and, and you may have to convince yourself to push those other things down, because they're hitting you in the face every day. They are. I know they are. So, it may take your conscious effort by faith to say, I just refuse to go that route at least for, for this time. Uh, as Pastor Brian said on a prophetic word a long time ago, those issues of life, just put them in your pocket for a minute. and Don't look at them. Leave them alone and purpose to uh, have some communion and have some interaction with your Lord. Because that is going to pay off a lot more than worrying and stewing. Uh, just another little quick thing. The, the parable of the sower with the different kinds of soil. For, for a number of years now, I've considered us here in our wealthy North American culture, it's the, the third type of soil that is our, that is our uh, you know, that's where we are, I think, as a people. Uh, we're not really fighting persecution like the people in some other places in the world. That's where the stony ground is. But ours is where the weeds are growing. There's a lot of things to distract us in our culture from being fruitful. And see, God wants us to be fruitful wherever we are, whatever we're doing, 
in our place in life, we're to bear fruit. And uh, the third type of soil, I'm just going to read that, I think. And it is in Mark chapter 4, and it's in verse uh, 18 it starts. Okay, still others, like seed sown among thorns, they hear the word, but the worries of this life, which is typical for our culture, the deceitfulness of wealth, also typical, and the desires for other things. They come and they choke the word, making it unfruitful. So <clears throat> those are the things we face all the time. God still wants us to be fruitful. So we have to get past the worries of this world, the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desires for other things. We live in a complicated culture because of our wealth and freedoms. Now, those are kind of all kind of being shaken in the rumbling time. So I want to encourage you to uh, get past all that stuff that chokes out the seed and let the seed grow by just tying in a little bit more with your Lord.